beloveds. It's my absolute privilege to be hanging out with you on this uh, Monday evening here in Melbourne, a very significant day in which our uh, children returned to um, in school learning for the first time in two terms. So I feel like the energy, it's a beautiful day as well, really warm. Um, I think Melbourne is breathing a bit of a sigh of relief right now that we're getting some positive changes towards a new reality or yeah, a new reality. I don't think the old one exists anymore. And I am feeling all the good feelings because uh, we, you know, we are halfway through. Are we halfway through? We're, we're maybe a third of a way through our interviews for the next intake of the third level. And I have spent the day just hanging out with the most glorious women and getting to know them and for us to work out if that is the next best step for them. And the last woman I interviewed said to me, I really appreciate that it's you who does these interviews and, you know, you're the one showing up um, because a lot of the time, you know, it'll be a coach's sales team or whatever doing these interviews. And I'm like, really, this is like the best part of my job. I just love meeting these women. And even if they're not going to go ahead with the third level, because it isn't right for everyone, um, this absolute privilege of getting to kind of peek into these women's lives who even have the courage just to put their hand up and say, yes, this is potentially the next best step for my life. So yeah, I just, I'm feeling all loved up. I took a lovely walk in the sunshine by the creek um, and life is feeling really good. I'm also incredibly jazzed because tonight, in three hours, in fact, our brand new, totally free live training with the teaching and learning coordinator for the Institute, Alicia Halpin, begins. It's called Intuitive Intelligence Embodiment. And I thought I would give you a little backstory to where this came from and what it means to me. You know, we've evolved um, our own form of tapping called intuitive intelligence tapping led by lead mentor Angelique Adams. And that was a really incredible um, innovation in the fields of tapping at the intersection of, of intuition and, and uh, tapping, which um, Angelique just brought a really profound, original and unique approach to it. And that really fits in very much with the um, with this idea of what we're bringing to you through intuitive intelligence embodiment you know, the tapping is part of that because it's about us getting fully present, meeting those subconscious programs that are preventing us from being fully present and allowing us as a result of that to increase our intuitive intelligence. Because without that embodied, anchored presence, we are not accessing our intuitive intelligence in the most potent way. So what I uh, shared in the, in the description for this is this idea that our physiology is the technology to increase our intuitive intelligence. So everything we need is inbuilt. It's like this incredible temple has got everything um, within it to support us to access our intuition in the biggest possible way. But sometimes in our spiritual seeking, we sort of can become very high chakras, cerebral, get right out of our bodies and, and almost evacuate ourselves in this kind of um, pursuit of knowing ourselves as the infinite. We, we sort of detach or dissociate from our physicality. And especially like right now, why this training means so much to me, the pandemic, I think, has caused a lot of us to dissociate from our physical reality. You know, in Melbourne, for example, we're still in these restrictions where you can't go for more than five kilometers from your home. If you don't live somewhere beautiful or you feel really um, imprisoned by that, it might be easier to evacuate your kind of consciousness out of your body and to avoid your reality rather than getting really anchored into the present and feeling all that discomfort. So this training, intuitive intelligence embodiment, could not come at a better time. It is the it is the work the world needs now, and it's that next evolutionary step um, in the way that I want us to understand um, our intuitive intelligence. So that idea that we as spiritual seekers can become a bit disembodied and a bit not present and and just kind of want to go towards that those high vibrational feeling states which we've often associated with like long meditation or denial of the body or whatever it is but but what if we go towards it what if we recognize that this amazing field or that, that this amazing body that has this incredible field all around it is, is absolutely priming us uh, to, to move into a closer, more intimate connection with our intuition. Turning on our intuitive intelligence requires us to descend 
and that this image from uh, Megan Watterson, in order to ascend, we must descend into our being, into the cathedral of our heart, in order to reach those really vast states of consciousness that is the ultimate um, end point of awakening is to overcome all belief in separation. But first we've got to get anchored. And, and in order to do that, we need to be able to know how to work with our physiology, our subtle body, in order to uh, really prime or heighten our access to our intuition. So that includes unknotting that subtle body because the knots in the subtle body that are caused by subconscious fear beliefs, of course, are then going to cause knots or dis-ease, disharmony in the physical body. So in order for us to expand into that field that we are capable of doing as we elevate our frequency, we need to be unafraid to sit with those heavy emotions and those darker feelings in order to transmute them uh, through our intention and attention. So these knots in our field cause a restriction of our access to that intuitive intelligence, that one mind, that consciousness that contains all time and all space. And when we understand and, you know, the work that Alicia is bringing to us is neurosculpting, understanding the neuro neurological systems, understanding the polyvagal system, understanding, you know, you know, combined with the work of tapping, you know, the, the function of, of um, the way we can turn off the amygdala and, and, and be able to move out of those fight or flight states, which cause us to be unable to receive our intuitive intelligence or to doubt our intuition, because we can't tell the difference between our fear and our intuition. But if we're living in a state of fight, flight or freeze all of the time, um, then we are unable to be really clear on understanding our intuitive intelligence, because that's a form of dissociation, it's evacuating our being. And really what Alicia is doing in conjunction with the work of intuitive intelligence is giving us a new model for working with the release of those heavy emotions, those stored traumas, um, you know, working with the idea of, of neuropeptides, epigenetics, you know, how we can actually prime, or oh, we are primed, our physiology is primed to release trauma, release pain, release fear, but we have not been taught how. And this embodiment, intuitive intelligence embodiment through movement, uh, through breath, uh, through neurosculpting, through tapping, all of these tools are being brought together to create this uh, beautiful opportunity for us to understand how our physiology and our subtle body is absolutely primed to release all the impediments, all the blocks, all the obstacles to our intuitive intelligence. And that's how we increase our intuition. We can't go after our psychic skill through psychic development programs and all of that. If we have not prepared the ground, we need to be aware that we are the most intuitive being on the planet ever. All of us are, it's not a gift. No one has more of it than anyone else. But what we carry within our subconscious, our subtle body, is, is either going to support us to connect to the one mind or it's going to inhibit us. Because when we look at the way the subtle body behaves, all, um, I guess all of us, right down to the atom, right up to the entire infinite consciousness, the universe, um, its movement, because everything is but a vibration, is the toroidal field, the torus that you might be familiar with, that donut shape. So that is, if you looked at your, you know, the movement of the subatomic particle and the, the, the same energetic signature is there at the level of the physical body, right up to the entire cosmos. And that, that energetic signature is, is the reason that intuition functions. If we see the movement of the energy that, that pouring into us and moving out of us, that helps us overcome that belief in separation, recognizes that we share the same energetic signature as the entire cosmos, right down to the tiniest particle. And when we understand the quantum nature of reality, we see that we are inherently interconnected and we're inherently interconnected through the heart brain, which is where our intuitive intelligence is housed. So if we want to increase our intuition, we need to begin to understand the true nature of what we are, the quantum nature of reality and the cosmos, and to, to work with that as uh, the only way for us to increase our intuition. I get very excited about this. I don't know if you've noticed. It is so cool that we can bring you this training right now, because I really do believe that these combination of tools that will be shared this week will bring us all closer to an embodied intuitive intelligence. And that is the key to our freedom. And uh, it's, yeah, it's gonna be really amazing. So I'll share the link with you. It begins tonight, uh, Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time, 8 p.m. 
5 a.m. Eastern Time in the US, I think it's 10 a.m. British Standard Time. Um, all sessions will be recorded and emailed to you if you can't attend one. Um, and we have a really great Facebook group uh, where you can come along. We've had over 200 people register for this training already. I'm just blown away by the response, but also completely get it. Like we need this. This is the medicine for our times. How do we stay present? even when the world feels overwhelming and scary, because that is our service, right? Those of us who are on this path of intuitive intelligence must be here. We must be willing to show up and serve from that place of, of being fully embodied in who and what we are. So much love to you all. Let's hang out together this evening. My time very early for Alicia. Um, and let's increase our intuition. Let's get turned on together, baby. It's going to be good. So much love.